Um, they're going to be watching this going, this guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Because I'm a literalist. I like to do things, you know, that are, you know, based on science and truth and fact. <laughs> and I'm just making this up. So I'm doing a cartoon spider. Well, think of an alien spider then. <laughs> yeah, right. An alien spider uh, ooh, with one eyeball. <laughs> Mm. Excuse me, uh, and I'm Blaze. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Geeky. Welcome to Geeky Dumb. <laughs> so, um, welcome everybody. This is our end of year video we're putting together. You know, we've only started this channel what two months ago. Two months, yeah, about, yeah, so, a little over two um, months maybe. So we we've, we've been consistent. We're putting out a video a week. Yeah. Uh, the hol holiday video was a really short one, uh, just because we, you know, we had to celebrate our time off and didn't really have time to get together to yeah. do a, a good one. But uh, it was done with Mind Show, which is a VR application yep. on Steam, which is yep. really cool. There's a lot of progress has been made within the last year, and I just want to kind of go over. Um, we saw the uh, <laughs> Kickstarter do the 8K Pimax uh, widescreen, 100, 100, uh, 200. Uh, degree field of view uh, that was on Kickstarter and um, it was really really successful uh, more successful than oculus was when they did their Kickstarter yeah but oculus is the reason why Pimax did so well because oculus kicked it off yeah. and um, VR is uh, starting to go on that nice slope going up as far as uh, popularity because people more and more people are getting exposed to it uh, people uh, like us yeah. who are doing YouTube channels to get it out there. Yeah. I just noticed a uh, a neighbor uh, of ours. Uh, I was coming down the stairs to my apartment, uh, and they always have their TV on in their living room with their window wide open. Sorry, I'm not a voyeur, but they're playing a VR game right there in their living room. And they hadn't, I've been watching them for the last two years. They live in there. They were just playing regular video yeah. games, and all of a sudden they go, oh, that guy's playing uh, VR. Yeah, was it? Uh, so, did it have a glowy no, piece on the no, front? Was no. it? Was it an Oculus? Can you tell? I couldn't tell, but it was no glow coming off of it. Oh, very but cool. Yeah, so that was cool. Yeah, um, I've seen it. You know, there's a lot of uh, virtual reality that's seen in uh, in uh, TV commercials. Yeah. Now there's uh, you know in TV shows or some form or another somebody wearing a helmet, uh, which is really cool to kind of see uh, it, it getting a. Uh, into the our what you call it uh, pervasive into our right current culture right it's starting to etch its way in again if anybody out there if you guys come come upon our channel here uh if you get a chance to play virtual reality you got it you got to try it um i don't know what stores are using <laughs> or setting it up now but now but but the exciting thing is that there's these location-based virtual reality uh experiences that you can go to yeah which is one thing that uh, I wanted to announce for Blaze and I, which uh, we're going to, Geeky Dumb is going to go to the Void, yes. which is in Anaheim. We are going to Anaheim yes. to play the Void. <laughs> so the Void's grand opening in Anaheim is uh, January 5th, but we're going to be there on the 7th, 7th yeah. Sunday. Yeah. And the experience, yeah. looky here, we got our, we have our ticket. The ticket. The ticket to Void. We have the ticket. So the experience is Secrets. <clears throat> Of the Empire, so it's Star Wars. Nice, <laughs> and um, and it's done by I ILM X Lab, the same people who did the uh, Trials of Tatooine. Yeah, and so we're gonna go there. We're gonna bring our camera. I know we're not allowed to shoot or videotape inside. I've seen other uh, people who've gone to the one that just opened up in Florida, and then the one in London, and um, so we can't obviously see what's inside because it's we're gonna be in virtual reality. Yeah, I mean it's it's proprietary yeah so that's okay but hopefully you know we can talk about it and, and tell our experience and maybe talk to a few people who came yeah. out and see what they think about yeah, it. yeah hopefully yeah uh, it'd be nice to yeah. get some people get some interviews on the show you know yeah. yeah so that's uh so we're gonna be doing that on the 7th january 7th yeah and then um another thing that we're we thought is definitely a, a geeky dumb adventure is uh we're gonna go to alien con alien con yeah which is which is in june <laughs> I've, I, I've always wanted to go to something like that yeah. never been in my life 
uh, you know, so I think uh, Linda Moulton Howe is going to be there. Yeah, and, and, who's, and who's the guy who does? Uh, he's he's always interviewed as. Oh, oh, the hair. The hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I his name. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of pulled it back a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, but he does... Uh, I forget his name. Uh, oh, Ancient, Ancient Civilizations. Ancient Civilizations. On, Ancient Civilizations. on Netflix, yeah, right? Yeah, So, uh, yeah. and various other people. Um, yeah. It's going to be a geeky thing. I mean, you know, we're going we're gonna to go geek <laughs> out on, on alien civilizations. Yeah, you know, so we'll bring the camera alien to kind of uh, yeah. just hang out there. We shall record yeah. it, and we shall share with you. By the way, Alien Con's in June. It's in... It's in Pasadena uh, this year. If anybody's interested, uh, who's local? To yeah, it's us. right near some little old lady's house in Pasadena. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in, we live in Burbank. Yeah. Or we're our studios in Burbank, and uh, we live in Burbank, and um, uh, so that's a short distance for us, which is fine. Yeah. Um, since uh, this is unfortunately this is not our day job, but uh, I wish right. I wish we could do this all the time. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, 2017, what, so Blaze, what was momentous for you or uh, memorable and momentous for you in 2017? <laughs> you mean with uh, VR, right? Is that what you're asking? VR or just for you personally, but, uh. <laughs> uh, but it could be re VR related. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to kind of go with the VR thing just because uh, that's what we've been focused on. Uh I mean, they're all fun. All the stuff has been fun. Uh, I have not, you know, I didn't get to really get to do the Mars exploration, but aside from that, which is, you know, really cool, um, I, I have to say that as simplistic as it sounds, I really enjoyed the um, light blade. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only because I guess for some reason I was pretty good at it. <laughs> I don't know why. And <laughs> you had the force. It, yeah, and it made me feel good. So that's that that you know stood out. And I like video games. I like winning. So uh, that was good. And then um, to be honest, also the other one that really cracked me up was uh, that I really enjoyed. Uh, I forgot the name already. Um, with the swords and you're fighting in the um, the Gorn 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 yeah, yeah Gorn yes. hilarious. I mean. I, you know, didn't get to go any more levels. You know, we just play these things for a little while, then we mostly yeah. spend time editing and things like that. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, but... when, when we shot, <laughs> when we shot Gorn, um, uh, I had, uh, knocked the, the wire for one of my cameras from the audio. Yeah. And the camera. And the camera. Right? And so Blaze's image froze. Yep. So he was like, yeah. I was in a state of shock like that for, for, for the rest of the video. Yeah. And then when he got on to record, not, there was no audio. There was no audio. Yeah. And so it was just, I couldn't salvage it. Yeah. Salvage. Savage. Yeah. Salvage. Yeah. Salvage. Savage. Savage. Um, to use it. So they anyways, were savages anyway. So I just ended up using the one that I, that I was on. All right, Nick. Well, so, uh, what was the highlight of the year for you for 2017? You know what the highlight for me was? Was starting this channel. You... Ah! <laughs> he beat me! I, <laughs> I am... I'm so lame brain. <laughs> that, that, that would be... Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Um... <laughs> you know, it's like... Well, like, we're, we're... That should have been the highlight for me. <laughs> Our channel is so obscure. It's like, it's like, I don't know how many subscribers we have. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm sure it's like not very many at all. <laughs> um, the thing is, is that it's that's fine because our videos are recorded. They're there. When people find us, they'll find us. If they like us, they'll like us. That's right. You know. And if you don't like us, hey, stay yeah. and tell us you don't Give like us. Give us a thumbs down and write yeah. a comment why right. you don't like us. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we don't mind at all. We, you know whether through amusement or whatever, we like to actually know what yeah. you think, yeah. positive or negative. Uh, and then what else were we going to talk about? Uh, there was something else I thought we were going to mention. Did we write it down? <laughs> no, we did not write it down. <laughs> this is not scripted, can you tell? Well, we talked about AlienCon, we talked about... Uh, oh, yeah, that's what we were going to, we were going to, we were going to talk about, we, we talked about AlienCon. Oh, yeah. didn't, but we didn't ask. Oh, we have to ask the computer. Yeah, we have to what, ask the computer What was the question, question for the computer? Try it again. Computer. How many extraterrestrials live on planet Earth? So far, there has been no proof that alien life exists. 
but the universe is a very big place so it would be surprising if life only developed in exactly one place. Well, there's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> that was a concise answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I, I have to discount my cousin uh, Norm or yeah. whatever. You know, well, like, computer knows all. <laughs> yeah, computer knows everything, yeah. right? Computer's tied into every one on the planet Earth right yeah. now. So. Yeah. And then hopefully extraterrestrials. Right. Maybe not, you know. Right. They're probably hiding from us. Anyway. They're probably hiding. Yeah. yeah. For sure. <laughs> Just like Bigfoot. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, what else? Oh, uh, unicorns. Oh, unicorns. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to offend anybody out there. Uh, you know, magical fairyland, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> well, we can talk about unicorns here. Yeah, we sure unicorns. can. Yeah. Unicorns. Yeah. Unicorns. Where unicorns. are you? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched. Uh, we just watched. Um, uh, what was it? What's it called? Uh, light. What's it called? Bright. Bright. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, we good? watched Bright. We watched Bright last night, my whole family on uh, on Netflix. And it, we really liked it. It was funny. A lot uh, of people like it. The yeah, critics yeah. panned it. Critics panned it, but we enjoyed and, it. And uh, the <clears throat> average individual watching it loves it or yeah. likes it. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. It reminded me of the TV show Alien Nation, the movie and the oh, really? TV show Alien Nation. Except yeah. With like fairies and. Yeah, it, well, but I mean, it, it sort of had that same feel of the you know the alien cop who nobody liked you know because nobody likes the what do they call them slags or whatever yeah slags from yeah yeah alienation right yeah and uh so it's sort of the same thing it's, that was their derogative this is, an, this is yeah. a human cop and a and an orc cop <laughs> and he was the first orc cop like anywhere and so of course he there's a lot of prejudice against him and everything and you know it's kind of about that really it's a really is a, a mixture of the fantasy world of fairies and dragons and Orcs and stuff like oh, that. That's cool. Yeah, it was good. I, yeah. I highly recommend no, it. No, I, I have to. I'll, I'll be tuning yeah, in. If that. you're geeky, I highly recommend it. I'll watch it. Yeah. I will watch it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. One that we're going to end up doing uh, is uh, Blaze. Uh, I think we talked about him, but he's a master sculptor. He's worked in the industry pretty much most, most for the last 35 years. Yeah. Uh, but he's worked at Disney uh, as a. Uh, treasured sculptor and did a lot of collectible stuff and yeah. um, large format sculpting Big carving stuff out for, of form yeah, I mean, props stuff, for movies props for movies but and props and large stuff for uh disneyland you know the, yeah. what, the, what are different. some of the movies that you movies big, big movies that were a lot um, of fun? uh tim burton's planet of the apes sculpted uh, all the control panels for the the space station what's the one that and, uh, tom uh, cruise was in um the sci-fi Oh, um, I yeah, I worked on um, Minority Minority, yeah. Minority Report. Yeah, Minority Report. And uh, built sets for that. And I also uh, sculpted all the parts for uh, the wheelchair for the um, for the uh, prison guard, the guy that ran the prison. But you literally never see the wheelchair at all. It's amazing how things get you know edited and cut. Uh, I sculpted a bunch of really futuristic looking bicycles. The the bodies and parts were. Uh, some actual functioning working working bikes and literally every single bike was cut out of the movie it must have been that bad uh i think there was one bike in the very <laughs> beginning scene that i worked on and you see it for two seconds so it's amazing you work on a movie for what was the stephen king movie that you worked on you did the little props the oh oh uh, uh thinner oh yeah you worked yeah, on thinner. i yeah. worked on the movie yeah. thinner and i i sculpted um a slingshot for the gypsy girl a two-headed snake yeah slingshot had to actually work and uh that was a lot of fun i sculpted sculpted it molded cast it and uh and then painted it so i dressed the whole prop for that you know yeah. you don't always get to do that in a lot of jobs a lot of times you're you're only doing one function that gets handed off to somebody else yeah. but, and he did some work for dreamworks when i was working for dreamworks yeah i did a bunch of stuff for dreamworks right yeah. zombies um, zombies yeah. and, and some little props and things yeah and then um, you, you art directed a, or you did some art directing on a picture i yeah, I actually started out as a production coordinator for um, a 35 millimeter film shoot that we did with Martin Short for the pre-show for Akbar's Adventure for uh, <laughs> for Bush Gardens, Florida. And then halfway through the production, the art director quit, 
to go work on some TV uh, commercials. You don't have to explain yeah. the politics of it. Yeah, right? yeah, no. Yeah. And so they, they, they asked me if I would art direct. And so that's how I became an art director on that. Yeah. So, yeah. And all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, was that the one that had the pyramid? The big pyramid? Yeah, or? it had the pyramids. Yeah. The Giza yeah. Plateau. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. It's all, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, computer controlled camera. Oh, right. Motion controlled Motion camera. controlled yeah. cameras and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because yeah. it was all fly through. It was all. Uh, simulator ride yeah. yeah and then at disney you did these collectible characters right yeah for walt disney art classics i i sculpted uh a few not a lot but a few uh collectible figurines Dis, uh, you know mickey mouse and minnie mouse and uh scrooge mcduck and um yeah i mean a few i mean all the uh all of i sculpted all of the um uh toy story characters for disney art classics yeah okay yeah. So, that was really kind of my claim to fame, actually. Yeah. But everyone knew me when I did uh, signing sessions in Florida at, at Epcot Center, and people actually flew from around the world to just meet me for that. Oh, that's I cool. was kind of <laughs> shocked. You know, <laughs> wow, people really want to meet people like me? <laughs> it's funny. So, yeah, so uh, I think the video that we're going to do today mm -hmm. will be focusing around Oculus uh, software called Medium. Okay. Which is a, a 3D sculpting software. Okay. And you're inside, and because you're used to working full format, large format. Yeah. Well, Medium allows you to do that in like miniature, large, and you oh. can scale things up on the fly. Yeah. But it's right in front of you in the right. room. Okay. Um, and I, and this will be Blaze's first uh, adventure going into Medium using it as a tool. So it's, yeah. it's, I'm really curious to have a traditional artist sculptor use this such a high tech we'll see how we'll see how tool, well i do you know <laughs> we'll see how well i do yeah i mean it's high tech <laughs> because it's like i mean you can say you know like zbrush or any of these digital sculpting tools are high tech but this is high tech because it's allowing you to jump into a different perspective that's more related to how you function right but using digital tools right so I'm really curious at how how you're gonna. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, you, what your. I mean, I've had. Yeah, I, I have some experience be, yeah. in ZBrush, so we'll see. You know how I respond to this because it would be more yeah. real world sculpting, and that's you know where I've always felt like ZBrush. I don't have a tool in my hand. You know, I mean, I yeah. do, but it's not here. It's up there, and you know, it's a little bit different. Yeah, you're transposing yeah. your mouse or your Wacom tablet yeah. to a two D screen. Right. Which is uh, kind of could be difficult, or I mean, it takes practice. But once you yeah, it's just practice. To, you're right. used to it. You're used to it. You know. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, that'd be a really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay. Well, that seems pretty cool. Well, anyways, happy New Year. Happy New Year, Blaze. Happy New Year. Thank it was you. It's been a wonderful year. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anyways, I've had a lot of fun. So we'll uh, we'll be jumping into medium, and okay. uh, then we'll do some comments afterwards. All right. Sounds good. Okay, sir. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's do it. See you guys there. Okay, so here I am in uh, Oculus, uh, what is this called again? Medium. Medium. And uh, I am attempting to sculpt a uh, spider. I didn't know what else to think of, except that I know my wife doesn't like spiders, so I thought, hey, as a tribute to my wife, I will try to sculpt a spider. So I'm looking at different tools in here, because I've not, never used this before. And I'm trying to figure out how to I guess I'm going to do an add. Get rid of that. All right. So, oops, that's not the tool I wanted. Let's let's take a look here. Sphere. There we go. I think that should do it. Yeah. There you go. And I don't want it. I want it. Hey, look at that. I'm moving it. Um, I want to. There we go. I want to see. I can. I can move my sculpting tool. Um, by holding this toggle button on top and it says reset tool applicator so i could technically have the tool far away from me if i wanted to or i can like because i'm a sculptor in real life i like my tool right you know right where my hand is because i feel like i'm a little bit more involved in it there so now i've got the toggle and i can en en enlarge the the uh the sculpting tool see and I can just set it right here 
and I'm going to do a thorax. There you go. Oh, it's a little bumpy, Bob. Look at that. What happened there? Did I just overdo it? Um, yeah, I can smooth it out later. Yeah, it's, well, I probably should smooth it out now because legs have to go on there. Uh, so anyway, there's a thorax. Let's look at the tools here and see what kind of way I can smooth. Oh, smooth it is here. There's smooth. Uh, uh, let's get up there and let's see. First, before we smooth it, let's take a look and see how strong the, the smooth tool is. Maybe we want to turn it down a little bit. Uh, steady stroke, constraint, let's line, fill, average. I think we're going to stick with average and we're going to get on there and let's, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Uh-huh. 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 Look at that. Whoa. Oh, he's lumpy there. Oh, there you go. Oh, didn't really help. Okay. Cause that's cause I have it turned down so much. All right. So, uh, we're looking at this. Yeah. He's, I think it's pregnant. Or it has a hernia because there's a lump right there. Let's see, can we? You're gonna, you're gonna have to strengthen that a little bit more. Let's do the strength. Really? Let's. Woo, woo, woo. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can barely tell, but look at that. It really did take that down. All right, kids. Uh, so here we go. We've got ourselves a spider abdomen and a thorax. And <laughs> I don't have any reference right now, so I'm kind of making this up. Which is, you know, when you when you're a creative, that's what you do, right? So let's go back to our menu. Uh, we're gonna select clay. There's our clay again. We could turn it down a little bit here. Uh, what does the head of a spider look like? Because that, if that's the thorax, then uh, you know what we might want to do. That's no, we don't want that. We want... I, I always think of a wolf spider when I think of spiders. Cause yeah, well, I'm thinking Black Widow because I just saw a thing on on Black Widows on Netflix, so. I'm going to, not smooth, I want move. There it is. There's move right there. Whoa. All right. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, maybe the, oh, maybe our inner radius seems to be larger. I don't know. It seemed like it was better when it was larger, but let's just see what happens here. Let's, we're exploring, right? Yep. So here we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I don't know. What, what does a spider's head look like? I'll tell you what. It looks like a Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> you can undo it. No, no, watch. No, no, I'm having fun here. Was, okay. What's really interesting is, uh, right, where all the spider eyes are. I don't know. I'm making that up. I have no idea. Some, some, uh, hey, what are people called who study insects? I, I can't remember. What do you call them? Um, they're going to be watching this going, this guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Because I'm a literalist, I like to do things, you know, that are, you know, based on science and truth and fact. And I'm just making this up. So I'm doing a cartoon spider. Well, think of an alien spider then. <laughs> yeah, right. An alien spider uh, ooh, with one eyeball. <laughs> All right. So I've got that. And uh, now what I want to do is uh, I want to, you know, should I, let's see, should I try to just pull out? First of all, let's go to our menu here. Let's make that radius a little bit bigger. I don't know if that's going to help me or not, but yeah, it, it'll make it more tight. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to go in here. See what we got going here. That's pretty cool. I should have had the uh, symmetry symmetry on, didn't I? Yeah. Shouldn't I? Should well, I guess this is going to be really custom then. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Not very symmetrical. I like it. Wow, that's interesting. That's not too bad. Yeah.
My well, wife won't like it. <laughs> there you go. Um, my finger is touching that yellow button. So here we go. I'm just distorting the heck out of this thing. And I can go back over here on the toggle and I can, if I mess it up, I can kind of, there we go. Get in there and kind of fix it a little bit. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. All right, so then I've got that kind of weird... Those aren't really fangs. <laughs> like, what are they? <laughs> you know, spider fangs. Those aren't really spider fangs. <laughs> uh, oh, I know. We need we need to put a, a, a mouth on it, right? So watch this, you know, because it has to be able to eat. So let's, um, let's go to clay. And uh, let's see what the strength is on this. Uh, stroke, taper speed, steady stroke, size. I'm trying to see if, if I can control the, uh, how powerful it is, like how much it puts out. I'm going to just, I'm going to turn that way down and see what happens here. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can do some, uh, a mouth. <laughs> I'm going to tease you guys a little bit here. We'll have to do some editing in the video afterwards. Ooh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> okay, all right. It's hard because it, there's no control. You, you, it's really hard to control the strength of what I'm doing here. It, I'm sure somebody out there who's already had experience with this uh, probably can, you know, it's really hard to control the size. <laughs> you like my lips? There we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a little crooked. It's a little crooked there. There, there we go. There we go. <laughs> um, okay, so, and then we want to make some eyeballs. You know, spiders have lots of eyes, right? So let's see. Uh, Let's see, we, we gotta make it freaky. Like spiders have like really freaky eyes. Don't they have like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, all right. All right, that's fine. And then, but they have more, they got like six, eight, I, I don't know, they have like yeah, these. Yeah. They have all these, and then they have like, there's some spiders have like one big eyeball. And eyes underneath, right? Don't they have some like a couple of eyes underneath? Some do. Some spiders. Alien show. spiders. Yeah. All right. So better, wait a second. Better where is see his, the probe. Where are his legs going to come out? Let's see. Uh, I need to figure out the. I need to figure out the. Um, uh, the symmetry thing here. Let's see. It's in the. It's in. It's, in, it's got in the left right. left menu. Left. Yeah. Oh, it is. One of the menus. Oh, right there, right there, mirror. Mirror. Oh. I believe that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I don't. I only need to draw on one side. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
So here we go, Ellen. This is for Ellen. I'm gonna make. Put, I want to put the spider. I want to see where I'm gonna put his legs and everything. Let's see. All right. So, well, it's all gonna be. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I know. I know what I needed to do. Hold on a second. I need to use line. There we go. <laughs> There we go, and it's still double. Okay, good, all right. And I need to, let's see, let's do it this way. Here we go, folks. Ha. <laughs> Uh, so I can move it closer, duh. There's supposed to be a way to taper it, but I, I don't know how to taper it. So, while you're doing it, you should be able to taper it, and I couldn't figure out how to do that. Oops, I don't like that. My wife is not going to like this. <laughs> I like the shadow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's already creepy. <laughs> See, that's the only thing that bothers me is I can't taper it down like a real spot. Yeah, I mean, if I had this program, obviously I'd learn it eventually. But All right, so let's go back over here. It's about the right size. And then... Oops. Okay. It's <laughs> great. Beautiful. I'm going to go get some water. I'll be back. Okay. Oh, what was that? Look at the size, and then uh, let's see here. I'm trying to because it's the plane is weird. This plane, this plane here, is it actually throws your wrist off. It needs to be. It needs to be. It needs to start over here and go across this way. And it would make it a lot easier on a person's wrist. There's something we could teach the uh, people who made this. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> I think am I am I like running into stuff here? Let me see. Oh yeah, I'm I'm off the uh, mark here. Ugh. Okay, am I, am I in or out? Okay. Okay. Let's 
frequency, it's always at the wrong angle. I, I want it, I want to be able to control it. Wow, that, that sucks. So I was just explaining that this plane that's here that I'm doing the, the straight lines on, that one thing we could teach the uh, people who made this program, you know, that you have to really twist your wrist in a lot of like unnatural ways. Yeah. I noticed if you're able to set the where you want the, this line, right? Set it there, then just yeah, then just draw it out. Yeah, uh, it makes it really hard. That I just noticed that it's like it's because I want to be able to stay with the plane of the ground here, right? And I have to keep lifting it up and do, drawing it out, sculpting it out. So anyway, uh, I want to shut off symmetry for a second. Mirror, right there. Mirror. There we go. All right, there we go. Let's see. Yeah. Ah, I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it really hurts the wrist because you have to, even if you can turn this around, you need it as a sculptor. You, you really often need your sculpture to sit in the position you need it in for you know how you're going to yeah. display it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this tool, if you can't flex that tool around, then it really can be quite a strain on the <clears> hand, <throat> on the wrist, specifically on the wrist because I'm <laughs> turning funny. That's about right. Oh, that's too, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Just see if that even makes it better or worse. All right, so that was a separate one. So I want to do another separate one over here. Oh, look at that. I didn't quite. It didn't quite line up because I didn't do the whole thing in yeah, sym symmetry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's go in here. Ah, and that kind of makes it look good anyway. Kind of gives it that little muscle, you know, thing that you see insects have. Oh, right. Yeah, look at that. That's better. Yeah. Oop, <laughs> a, little, a little too fat. He had a herniated, uh, <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What do you think, Ellen? <laughs> <laughs> Ew, get it away from me. Kill it. Kill it. Okay, so right there. All right, I just want to, it's a pretty good spot. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do another one here. Um, smaller, because that's the third one. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna go. Okay. It, 
That's the other thing. I, I mean, I don't know if I should. I feel like I want the thing wrapped around my hand, like taped to my hand. Yeah. Because <laughs> it, it wants to fall out of my hand. You know, it's, it's getting uh, sweaty. Uh, like when I have to reach out to measure. That's, that's close enough. Let's see. Because both yellow buttons on the controllers uh, can can toggle, you know, move the uh, ah, yeah. piece around. Right. And uh, so it makes it a little bit kind of funky. That's the part that time consuming. Just trying to get it to be close where you want it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I literally gotta like I feel like I wanna There we go. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Not too bad. Now, what I'm gonna do is turn the symmetry back on. Mirror. And are these the front facing? Yeah, there's a front facing. Uh, well, there's right. There's eight legs on a spider, yeah, right? Right. I might mess around with it. Maybe it is an alien spider. Who knows? But uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Um, oops. Let's see. It's going the wrong way. Oh, cause duh. Cause of my. See, that's the other thing is I can't. It's, I want to be able to just set it. You know? <laughs> ah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to do it this way. Wait a minute. Let's... Right there. There we go. In the, uh, that, you know, attack position or whatever. Those are some cheeks you got there. <laughs> well, at least I'm keeping Nick entertained here. Oh, I see. That doesn't, because it's not symmetrical, I have to kind of do it separately. So I'm going to come back and fix those uh, after the fact because they don't really match up very well for what I want to do. So, all right. So we want to get the spider back on the ground so I can kind of see his position. And actually, at this point, am I safe to stand up here? Yep. I'm not blocking anything? No, just remember the chair is right behind you. Yeah, I got the chair. I can feel it kind of behind me there. So I just want to see what I, how I want the spider to... What was that line? Oh, that's the symmetry line. Okay, all right. Um, okay, the spider's standing right there. Let's just say that's... Yeah, that's pretty close. Um, Don't forget to make the spinnerets. Spinnerets, that's right. Oh yeah, Ellen's gonna hate this. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's that's you know when a spider's and like you're threatening a spider, yeah. it's like it yeah. sticks its arm, its front legs up. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, so let's see here. All right. Okay, uh, so we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, we got four. All right, let's move this back away from me. 
It's not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> so actually, this is I, this is more I've more I've done more in this program in this short amount of time than I have in in ZBrush. <laughs> I think you said that. I think you said that. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a lot more fun. That's for sure. Well, look at how it did taper there. Oh, that's interesting. But I did it kind of backwards. See if you can reverse that. See, when you were doing it, you should be able to make it smaller. It should, it should taper down, and it, it's not doing that. But in the tutorial, it shows that you can do that. But I didn't see them specify how and why. Maybe lessen on the trigger? Is it? I was, I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to use the trigger to do it. Like this, earlier, I, I would start it. And then, yeah, see, I can do it, but it just jumps, right? right so it yeah. just jumps. Yeah. So that's kind of useless. Okay, you know what? Watch this. Oh, I know. You know what? Here we go. Let's go to move. That's kind of scary. Yeah, that's scary. All right, and then uh, I think what we do need to do too is we need to um, hold on a second here. Uh, and then, well, here we go. Let's see. I mean, you gotta have stuff on there that looks you know, spiky and scary, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So these guys. Is it still? Oh, it is. Is it gonna match? Well, it's not gonna match. Only that. on the legs that were symmetry. Only the ones that were yeah. symmetry, which yeah. is this one here. Which aren't going to be seen because they're underground, so uh, it doesn't matter then. So I'm going to shut off symmetry. Mirror, 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 mirror on the wall. Can I go like a little smaller? There you go. some smoothing or whatever. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. So sensitive. Okay, there you go, whatever. Oh, that's because it's seven years off. Okay. And then these ones, I can at least put some spikes on, right? Yeah. All right, so let me just do a couple more here, one at a time. Hey, look at that. Distortion. Huh. Yeah, interesting. Funny. Okay, so symmetry back on. Uh, let's see what we can do here. There we go. Kind of have to know where to grab it. That's one thing you have to learn how to do. Okay. 
Okay. Did that work over there? Did it show up? No. Oh, maybe. Uh, I don't remember symmetry staying on, so go back to oh. symmetry, see if it was on. Oh. Yeah, oh. It, so undo all that and just do it again. I don't know if it'll. Uh... Yeah, well. Yeah, there you go. Well, still, yeah, there it is. Okay, there it is. All right. Let's see. Let's make sure. Double. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And symmetry is on? Yes, yeah, it's, it's on. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Come on. Yay. <laughs> You're like reaching way up there. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Now the symmetry's still on, so let's go to the other leg here. Certain angles you can't actually see the. There's no detail. The shadow only comes. You only have a shadow after you've made your your finished piece. Ah, interesting. Yeah. So while you're pulling it, it has no texture, no shadow. So it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. I can see how this definitely could be used as a as a tool for massing stuff out really quickly. Yeah. There we go. Now, um, really quick, you're off, right? It's off. Yeah, it's off. Okay. Let's go back over here. Oh, and it, it it's just that one spot keeps. Uh, no, yeah, it's just that one. Oh, because maybe I sculpted inside here. And oh, there's stuff, right. There's polygons yeah. inside that. If that's what they use. Are they using polygons here? It, it's... It looks sort of polygonish in a sense. Polygon on a cracker? It's, huh. it's called, I think it's a tessellated mesh. Oh, a tessellated mesh, yeah. So it it's always building a skin, but there's no like inner parts unless you're building se on separate layers, you know. I see. Well, people, I have to tell you, this is a lot of fun. I mean, I'm just goofing off really fast here, but if I was to take this really seriously um, and took my time, I'm sure I could build some really, sculpt some really cool stuff here. One more. Ah. Okay. Give him a nasty stinger. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and do, since I'm here. Symmetry. That doesn't matter. It's so quick anyway, right? <clears throat> Should I do hairy armpits? This <laughs> 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 is. <laughs> Spiky armpits. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're real funny, man. Can't see it. Hey! Oh. Was is das? It's an anomaly. <laughs> it's an anomaly. Look at that. Look at that anomaly. That is so bizarre. Let's try it again. Let's go somewhere else. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You cannot mess. It's Mother Nature. You know, you, you can't predict it. Sometimes it's symmetrical. Sometimes it's not. Is that the right word? Not. not snot? No, it's not. No. Symmetrical? S semi reticle? <laughs> yeah, I love this. Look at this guy. Okay, let's shut off. Uh, no, symmetry is off, right? Yeah. Okay, so what I do want to do, though, is I want to go back to. 
clay, and I want to change that to, oops, excuse me. Uh, I got that, but I wanted to get rid of the, oh, I know what it was. I want to get rid of line. That's what it was. Okay. Okay. Uh, I wanted to uh, fill up the, ah, that's too much. There you go. <laughs> when I wanted to do this one. Okay. All right. It's not too bad. Woo! And now we're going to do the um, spinnerets and a stinger, right? Ooh. Now, spiders don't usually have stingers, right? They don't. Shelob does. Well, that was in uh, The Hobbit, right? The man was a master with uh, languages, right? But, <laughs> but uh, maybe he didn't know anything about... Uh... All right, so we're going to do that anyway. We're going to put some spinnerets. And we'll put on symmetry again. Oh, okay, and, whoa, okay, here we go, it's gonna be, you know what, I'm wondering, because the symmetry is off on her bum. Hmm, see where it starts. Yeah, it's right there, it's a little off. And then I think what I'm going to do is <clears throat> to shut off the symmetry. And I'm going to, well, maybe actually I can still use symmetry. It's fine. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to switch to <clears throat> move. All right, people. Yeah, that's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. All right. And then... Um, that's the move tool. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I see. Look at that. It moves everything, not just the piece I'm working on because I didn't put it on a second layer. Yeah. So that's something else you have to remember. I did not remember to do, folks, is you have to, you know, you want to, if you don't want to manipulate everything all at one time, you need to make layers. So these should have been on a, on a, on a separate layer and then I could manipulate them into the, the rear end of this spider's bum. Uh, appropriately, but it's not working that way. So uh, what I'm going to do is shut off the mirror, and I could go back and change that, but uh, time is of the essence here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to switch to, oops, I'm going to switch to clay, and <clears throat> let's see here. Yeah, that's better. Oh, she's, she's got a little bit of a problem here. All right, that, that's actually all right. That's fine. And then um, <clears throat> and we're going to put a stinger because Nick wants a stinger on it. So we're going to put a gnarly stinger. Now we're going to take the... Uh, the um, move tool. Gonna, well, do I want to go big? No, not that big. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go. Let's see what the position is here. That's pretty much the position. So let's see here if we can do this. Let's go look at it. It's really hard to control that. What do you think, Ellen? <laughs> I have to keep asking my wife. Why did it have to be a spider? Oh, that's like Indiana Jones. Why did it have to be snakes? Right? I think that's good. Scary. I think that's good. And just for the fun of it, just to make it fun, let's, uh, let's put it down on the surface here. Right? Right about there, right? Yeah, there, there it is. All right, so there's our, ooh, I can't back off. I can push it away from me though. There we go. That way we can get a good view of the spider, right? 
You can actually shrink it down and put it in there. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> That's right, huh? If I grab here. Ah, oh, I spray painted it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a red widow. All right. So there's our spider in the attack mode or defense mode. Uh, we want to go to menu. Oh, let's see. Uh, paint. That's the case. We do need to paint it, but let's do a really fast paint job on it. Um, let's do, um, well, we'll just do black. Ooh. Right? Yeah. And then, um, I gotta, oh, there we go. Nope. I want to, hey, oh, that's my finger. See, that's the funny thing about the yellow button is that your finger, you're trying to hold the thing and you're trying not to hold it. So there. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Is the backside needed? I don't know. Let's... Could have just mirrored it, right? Yeah, look at that. That's, uh -huh. that's freaky. Ah! Keep him away from me. There you go. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So. I think it's all. You're going to put a painted. little diamond pattern on oh, the bottom? Oh, yeah, for sure. In red? Yeah. Hold on. I'm just going to make sure everybody's painted up. It'll be real thorough here. Like it. I'm inside. Ooh, I'm inside <laughs> the spider. I'm riding on the spider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think. I think I got it. Okay, so now, yeah, let's do the, um, hello, hello, hello. Definitely gonna freak out, out freak out going with this. Oh my God. Okay, and then cut red. I'm gonna get some ray right there. Boop. Okay, so I got some red. And then, okay, and then I need to go real small. Oh, look at that. You could pro I bet you you could probably, um, do masking too, right? I would assume. I think that's all something for stamps. If you had to create a stamp, you know, you could make it. Yeah. A little hourglass down there. Come on now. There's going to be a lot of editing for this video. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> you know what? Let's just have a little bit of fun here. Let's have a little bit of fun, just real quick here. Oh, do I need to put it back into. Well, yeah, I mean, look at that. It's not even. Well, it never has been angled properly. Oh, let's get rid of that. There we go. Uh, uh, no, no. Um, mirror, but will mirror work for? Yeah, for the. Oh yeah, I can, look at that. I guess it will. Okay, so if I go over here and do it, yeah. It'll, okay, yeah. What's that stick in the middle of his back? Well, that's is that part of the symmetry thing? Yeah, I guess it is. Oh, okay. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do a little. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with this. All right, here we go. <laughs> you know, make it look scary or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's that's nice. My wife won't think it's nice. <laughs> Should we put a little blood on the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Gotta have some blood oh, on Of course. <laughs> oh, you sprayed. Oh, I you oversprayed. I, I oversprayed. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> I could 
keep it right on there. Cool. That's pretty good. Nice. Anything else? Okay. All right. How about eye colors? Oh, like, eyes? Yeah. yeah, we could do the eyes. Like yellow, like. maybe yellow or... Hold on. No, no, I got, I got the right color for that. Okay. I got the right color. Let's see here. Kind of a pretty purple. Yeah, okay. Because Ellen likes purple. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, you got symmetry still on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So your, your eyes weren't drawn in symmetry. Yep. That's right. Um, here we go. Okay, and then I guess the on the lips we have to do the lips too, so people can see that. And there's only one eye down here. The other one got uh, got removed removed somehow. So maybe it had its eye poked out. <laughs> okay, that's a little overboard. All right, and the lips. Let's do the lips. Okay. <laughs> Green. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. So now, yeah, how do we get a good picture of that? Or does everybody see it anyway? <clears throat> um, try to frame it. And there's a, I saw a menu where you could take a frame or something like that. It looked like a, a picture. Oh. Like, so get it where you want it and then open up that menu and I think you can take a picture of it. Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, all right. So, oh, is it taking pictures? I don't know. <laughs> I heard it. The camera's something go. I'll pull the trigger and see what happens. No. Oh. There we go. And then I'm not um, sure where the pictures are going. They're probably on the hard drive. Okay. I'll have to pull them up. So you yeah. went inside medium. Yes. And sculpted. Did I? And you, yes. crea you created something. Yes. Faster than yeah. oh. when you were on yes. ZBrush when yes. I had to teach you ZBrush. Right, right. ZBrush was like, oh my god, the, the learning curve for me for ZBrush is just. Whew. So so explain. So, wow. I mean, how do I explain this? Except that uh, you saw the video. Uh, I was able to manipulate the my you know objects in the environment so much easier in uh, medium in Oculus medium than all the uh, two or three years of struggling in ZBrush and that's just because I have a, a, a disability called auditory dyslexia and so I get confused everything in those interfaces is so complicated this is like uh, like having sculpting tools. I pick up a box with my sculpting tools. I pull out what I need. I can start manipulating. I can smooth things out. I can scrape clay away. I can, you know, add clay. And that's what I was doing in Medium, as you saw. I was, you know, pulling and pushing and scraping and uh, 
you know, creating. And you saw I made a finished, a finished sculptural piece, painted and everything. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, I was really always I was really curious because yeah I, you know, I've known Blaze for thirty four years, going on thirty five. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> um, you know, he's a master with with three D tools and three D space and in, in, in reality here. And uh, and when I saw this, and I was able to uh, just briefly jump into it on one of the demos a while back. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get this in front of Blaze. I gotta see how he works with this because this is this is right on the same intuitive level. You know, it's, yeah. You know, the the learning curve is just knowing where the the menu is, but but now you're working with your left and right hand, and right. you have a sculpting tool and manipulation, and you start right. working. You know, right? It's really cool, I and mean, you can enlarge and you yeah. know uh, you can shrink down or reduce in size whatever piece you're working on, either either by actual size and measurement or just to get closer to something to do more detail. So. You know, and not enlarge it in that sense, but just to pull it closer so you can work it. And, you know, you can, the neat, neat thing about being in a 3D environment like that is you can literally, in, you know, in the real world, in the real world of sculpting, uh, you often cannot get to certain areas of things very easily if you're doing large sculptures. Uh, you know, you, you have to figure out ways to do it where in the 3D world, uh, which especially in the VR environment, you you can climb right into what you're working on and turn it and go. I need to fix this one little thing that normally in the real world you could not do. You you couldn't get to it, or if you did, you'd had to you know you'd had to risk damaging part of the sculpture. Where here you don't do that at all. It's it's. Yeah. I really really uh, loved it. Now I noticed that you sat down for uh, most of your sculpting. Yeah. And how was that uh, being in this environment? Uh, it, you know, I have a bad back. I'm always in a lot of pain. I can't stand for too long, uh, very long periods of time, uh, very very short periods of time actually. So sitting down was fine. It I I could still move the sculpture. You know, I mean, because you know a lot of sculpting jobs I've done over the years, of course, are just sitting at a sculpting table. You know, doing your sculpture if it's small stuff, big stuff. Obviously, you know, you're climbing around the ladders and things. But but this, yeah, you just it's like sitting at a sculpting table and you sculpt. The nice thing is, is in the real world, you, you you have to build apparatuses sometimes to hold a sculpture in a certain position. Where in the uh, Oculus Medium uh, sculpting program, you just you just rotate it and leave it there, and it's it's floating in space, and so you can constantly move it around and manipulate, and you can do it very quickly. You know, once you start learning the the uh, controls. Uh, you can move it around very, very fast, and and I can see how there must be people out there that can really sculpt fast in this program, you know. And, and I, I'm sure that if you gave me a few weeks, I could probably, oh, I think so. I could probably be doing some pretty cool stuff in there. No, I think it's extremely yeah. intuitive, and just yeah. watching you. I mean, you know, the besides the menu, it was. I knew as soon as you started getting the shape, <laughs> you'd be playing with it, you know. It's like, right. and you know, and I, I wasn't sure. Uh, you know, one one moment you were there, I was like, I know he's going to pick up on this as soon yeah. as as soon as he realizes yeah. how how simple and easy it yeah. is. You know, and as soon as you did that, you just like you just like okay, you know, right. here I go. Now I it. also, I think you told me that you can mass, you know, a sculpture out in this program and then take it into a program like ZBrush mm -hmm. and then do more detail work. Yes. So yes. that's that's <clears throat> that's something that. As a real world sculptor in my, who's now in my mid fifties, who can't stand and do large sculptures mm -hmm. or or you know be in a studio doing that kind of work where I'm on my feet and moving around, to be able to have a program like this where you can put the headset on, go in and mass something out and, and get some relatively decent detail into it, mm -hmm. and then be able to save it off and 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 transfer it into something like ZBrush and yeah. and do more work on it. You know? Yeah, where you can simplify the process that way because right. now you're just kind of polishing instead of trying right. to worry about the mechanics of building something in ZBrush. Right, and that's yeah. that, you know, when I, over the years having worked on feature films and worked for Disney and all that and a lot in the toy industry too, 
one of the things that we used to do before we had all this wonderful digital stuff was, you know, you did massing. You, you, what they did was you block out a figurine or you blocked out a sculpture. And in the real world, you know, that takes a lot of time to do. That, that's very t labor intensive and time consuming. And in an hour on, in, in uh, medium, Oculus medium, I sculpted an entire uh, spider. Now it wasn't perfectly detailed or anything like that. We're just having fun. We're just you know get it done. And it was just, your first time. And my very first, first time, time sculpting yeah. something. Yeah, right yeah. in this program. I've never done it before. Got in there and did it, and you know created something. Yeah. So that alone. Now I'm somebody who's been sculpting. You know I've been sculpting since I was a kid. So okay, I, I'm a sculptor, but. I, I can really see how a program like this would be great for kids. Like if they had a bunch of these headsets in, a, in an art room, you know, in, or in a special classroom at, in all the high schools and junior high schools. I mean, even elementary schools. Mm -hmm. You know, if they had headsets for little kids, I it would. I think it would be amazing what you could see come out of the minds of of kids. You know, preteens, teenagers. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> um, yeah. I mean, now, I don't have access to the computer obviously right here but there's a, a game on um, oculus that was made uh where they sculpted all the c creatures uh in medium oh um any if anybody out there knows what this is you can leave a comment uh, what that game is but um i'll, I'll look at it later probably uh, maybe i'll stick it <laughs> right green, here green screen it yeah, yeah. or, uh, or overlay float it, it or overlay float, it, yeah. yeah yeah float it in our float it our um, atmosphere Excuse me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it was, there was a, you know, I had some navigation issues and stuff and just because I didn't know the interface, but it's such a basic interface. There's not that much to learn. Uh, once, so to me, with somebody with uh, auditory dyslexia, to get into a program where I visually, everything I have for me in my entire life has been visual. So getting in there and seeing you know, they they show it to you visually. So you just go in and you grab, oh, I need this. Oh, this just says smooth. I can take that, use this tool here, go over yeah. here, switch it, pop, go. And it becomes and, more <clears throat> repetitive. Right. Which you then can remember easier when you right. start repeating where things are. Right. And it's not so, so much embedded, uh, you know, tools that you right. have to look for. Right. You know, I, I imagine, you know, as these, these programs develop, they start becoming more complex sometimes sure. but, but at least if they can keep the initial uh, you know interface simple right so you can just come out of the box sculpting yeah that's where it needs to be and then as you fine-tune and learn you 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 know as you need to learn more you need right. to go deeper and then that becomes easier to learn because right. you already mastered the, the beginning level right exactly know? yeah exactly yeah I, I really uh, like the program Good. I really enjoyed Good. it yeah I sculpted a I sculpted a spider for my wife because she hates spiders. Right? Like, what an evil person I am! You know, she's a cat lady. She loves dogs, cats. She loves animals. I could have sculpted her a cat, but I was like, ah, oh, that, that's too <laughs> like, mm, you know. <laughs> well, Ellen, next time he'll have to sculpt you a cat. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to do media. a cat. Yeah, a lion or something. <laughs> a lion. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some some beautiful cat, maybe maybe a leopard or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, that was good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. it. Yes. Yeah. Until next time. Until next time. Okay. All right. All right.